a pleasant morning to one and all last class we are talking about the first war of indian independence since that i i have given the information about the what are the causes for the first war of indian independence since how it has begin yeah it was the, the rumors caused a lot of unrest in barakpur the military soldiers were when the soldiers were desired directed to load the bullets of gun by shaving off part of bullet the soldier refused to do it the soldiers barakpur revolted against british officer a officer named mangal pande shoot a dead a british officer mangal pande was arrested after a trial he was hanged to death so how did it has spread see meerut was a major british military base okay the indian soldiers uh, stationed here refused to use the bullets of the new guns which we are calling by the name of royal enfield many soldiers were arrested and they led to uh, the uh, this led to the mutiny in mirat the soldiers barged into the prison and released the imprisoned soldier this become the seed for indian freedom movement so this is the main cause when they have some of the soldiers they barged in to the and they have what are the imprisoned uh, soldiers for they they have released okay and they have said a group of soldier uh, reached to delhi uh, it's from meerut to delhi they entered to the red fort and they declared uh, mughal uh, king bahadur shah is the emperor of india okay due to various reason the protesting soldiers reached delhi the protests become the intensified they spread like a wild uh, uh, fire to delhi kanpur and jhansi also nana saheb of kanpur uh, who was rose uh, uh, in revolt tantya tatya tope was his assistant in jhansi rani lakshmi bai provided leadership out to the revolt tatya tope came to the support of the rani lakshmi bai after the uh, fail of the kanpur fall of kanpur we can get to the british uh, later what happened in here that is uh, Uh, later the uh, british they prote- protest uh, the the uh, later the protest spread to lucknow but finally lucknow also fell to the british pocket now the freedom struggle spread into um, we can call it has spread into the south river or south of river yamuna this influenced the soldiers of rani lakshmi bai also rani lakshmi bai who was already angered against the british due to doctrine of laps which was declared on the british so the, she declared the war on british also she captured in galvia she died a heroic uh, heroic uh, death while uh, battling the british in the another battle even today uh, rani lakshmi bai uh, a special in the annals of indian freedom struggle those things has happened many reason but we could not able to achieve a goal or we have failed to achieve it we can say when we are saying the failing we will be having some of the reasons right what are the reasons for it we can see see the first war of indian independence failed due to many reason one thing it did not cover every part of india i already said it was a majorly part in the northern india right it's mainly concentrated on issues of rights of kings and queens rather than liberalization here now they don't have the idea of the liberalization it is a it was war was like a issues of the british king uh, british kings and queens the three parties were there right this was a um, plan already not planned mutiny was not planned at all it was sudden plan unexpected results we got and we don't have a unity among indian soldiers that is one the mutiny lack of direction and leadership there was no one leader for it to continue and soldiers lack of uh, also lack the discipline and organizing skill indian soldiers also lack military strategies planning capabilities of uh, soldiering skills the freedom struggle lacked the definite uh, definite aim many of the indian kings extended their loyalty to the british one thing and did not support the freedom fighters they plundering the uh, plundering and the crimes committed by the sepoys made them to lose the faith of common people what is the results see this is uh, why it has failed we can after that we have to go for the results right fail the governance of east india company 
came into India and the governance of British government started. The administration of India was handed over to the Secretary of India Affairs of the British Parliament. The Queen of Brita Britain passed declaration in the 1858. It had following the aspects. What are the aspects? The agreements entered by the company with locals were accepted. No pursuiteness of religion expansion. Providing a stable government for Indians. Equality before law. No interference of the government in religious issues of Indians and practicing religious tolerance. So, what are the um, aspects and the result? The agreement entered to the um, by the company with the local kings were accepted. No pursuiteness of regional expansion, providing a stable government for Indians, equality before law, no interference of the government in religious issues of Indians and uh, practicing religious tolerance. The British realized that the unless and the until they command um, the love and affection of Indians, ruling India is very much um, difficult. They came to know the ability of uh, ability to listen the voice of Indians was considered as the main for, uh, reasons for the violence. Hence, they have decided to involve the Indians in the process of legislation, implemented policy of association and uh, uh, we can call as a, uh, the first war of independence like a guide to the post of future struggle also. This also outlined the importance of seeking alternative channels for the pursuit of future struggles against the British. This is about the first war of Indian independence. Thank you for watching video. A great day ahead.